Hey guys, welcome back to the Pantry Living Kitchen. Yes, we are getting back into the groove. I know it has been a while and I apologize for that, but we have just been busy. And this video here, I'm going to kind of recap a few things that we had on the go over the last month while I was absent from YouTube and talk a little bit about some things that are upcoming because boy oh boy, wait till I show you something that we harvested that is just crazy. But first, let's talk a little bit about what we got up to the last month. For the most part, to be honest, it has been harvest, gardens, and craft sales. And look, I got a new fridge. Super excited about that. It only took like a month to get here. A month without a fridge is surprisingly difficult, especially during harvest season. But it's here now, it's full, and I'll even show you something that's in there in a moment. We definitely had gotten complacent i guess you will say where the gardens were concerned it felt like fall was going to last forever right and it didn't we had a frost as you can see here it was a pretty heavy frost that i'm not going to say caught us unawares because we were covering things and stuff just in case because that's what we do up here in canada just in case and uh, it did allow us by covering things to make things go just a little bit further but we then followed up with a pretty hard frost and we just said, you know what, I'm done with this. And we picked everything. And the item that is just wild is the peppers. And we picked them all right in the middle of craft sale season where we're trying to produce so much stuff. And one thing I do have to say, thank you so much to those who came out to our craft sales and craft markets and had a visit and a little talk and introduced yourselves. It is so wonderful to be able to put faces to the little handles when people comment and things like that. I love that. And it's so great to know we have some internet world neighbors out there and uh, they're watching along. So thank you very much to everybody who did come out for that. It was a great season. We only did two sales this year. I may try and find something for in December, but we are just getting our groove back because as many of you know, for probably five years now, we've been very focused on the farm and I haven't done a whole lot with the craft side of things and the uh, wool and all that sort of thing. I've just kind of puttered along here. So super excited to get into the groove with that for next year and definitely stay tuned because I'll be sure to share when we have upcoming sales and things like that. But this isn't a sales pitch video. <laughs> Let's take a look at these peppers because it is absolutely Lucky, lucky. Oh my goodness. So many peppers. We were so blessed with peppers this year. The freezers are full. I'm going to show you that here in a second too. So we've got to come up with something to do with all these. The garden really was producing right till the end. I mean, here's a glimpse here of just some of the things that were still going in the garden, even into October. Uh, I mean, we really were lucky this year we didn't get a frost until mid-october which has just been fantastic and as you can see lots of peppers here we had eggplants eggplants galore they were slow to start we actually almost thought we were going to not grow them at all again next year uh, one thing we've found over the years is we don't like frozen eggplants so we're eating them fresh and you can see here in the fridge what's left of our harvest from this year we've been eating them fresh as much as we can they're probably making three or four meals a week or at least into three or four meals a week and uh, we will get these eaten up and that is wonderful because nothing gets wasted but the big issue is these peppers and you can see in this clip here the pepper plants were still going strong they were loaded and we got hundreds and hundreds these two gorgeous gorgeous rows of peppers and they're covered in green ones i'd love to see them turn red but it is not going to happen i've been eating probably four or five peppers a day we've been trying to consume i put them in the kids lunches everything peppers 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 because we have so many and we already have so many in the freezer so one thing i am going to be doing in the week coming up here and the next video that you'll see in this kind of series or the start of my getting back into the groove is dealing with some of these peppers i want to make some pickled peppers we did it earlier this year i think it wasn't in every bit counts but i didn't go into a lot of detail about it and they turned out amazing and we've already gone through like three or four jars so i definitely want to make a lot of those we're going to freeze some more if i can find some space and in order to find some space that means some stuff has to come out of the freezer so let's go take a look at our big freezers downstairs and just get an idea of how difficult this task is gonna be. Before I go into the freezers, I have to move a whole bunch of stuff off of them. And so that led me to doing a quick little chat about 
herbs. One of the things we did incredible with this year is herbs. I'm going to do my own video completely just on what we harvested, how we did, and how we plan to use it all, but amazing. I only have one herb left to pick out of the garden, and that is chocolate mint. We do have a couple jars already, but that's something we use a lot in teas and I do want to have a lot of it. But the one nice thing is mint is super forgiving because it can handle those frosts that we're getting right now. So stay tuned to see if we actually get that picked or not. But otherwise we have done just incredible and I'm not going to spoil it. I'm going to wait and kind of show you everything when I get it all ready. But I'm going to get these jars moved and then we're going to take a peek into I, I almost don't even want to show you. It's so bad. And you guys all know I did a freezer challenge last year to try and empty out these freezers. They all, all four, all four looked the same. And to be honest, that fourth freezer had to get started back in August, as you know. So this is bad. This is bad. But I have a lot of stuff I've got to make up. And I have put a lot of stuff in here in the month of October to kind of see me through until I have time to can it. So let's talk about that in a minute. So not quite to the point that I have to keep weight on top to keep the lid closed, but getting darn close. But as you can see, a lot of this is tomatoes. I've put about 120 pounds of tomatoes in here in October as we pulled them out of the garden quick at that frost time. I know my starving cat is back. He loves to make appearances in videos. Are you starving? You want to? Here. Oh. Here, let's show you to people. This is my... Here. Yep. Yeah, he's starving, apparently. I know, you're hard done by, huh? Anyways, cat distractions. Now, where was I? Oh, yes, the uh, the tomatoes. So, lots of tomatoes. We're going to be making probably butter chicken for sure. I need a lot of that. Also, some chili sauce, things like that, definitely coming up in some upcoming videos, which will help empty out a lot out of this freezer. The other thing I'm going to show you in a moment is what the pantry is sort of looking like. It's not going to be a full tour. It's just a quick glance because we definitely need to get some stuff put onto the pantry as well. And those items are all in the freezer still. The Fiesta corn relish, which I've been promising for months. I need some more canned lamb. So I want to take some of the big roasts out of here. I've got probably still about 20 roasts in here. Now, the nice thing is we don't have any more lamb coming until January. So I've got some time to use this up, but it is essential that we do that. I definitely also want to use my juicer. It's been plunked down here and hasn't come back out again. And I've got some choke cherries and things like that that I'd like to juice and make some syrups and jellies. So big plans, not enough time to achieve them. So hopefully in the upcoming months, we can get that done. But I'm gonna give you a glimpse here right now of what these freezers look like. Our other two look just the same. I'm not gonna regale you with all of that, but stay tuned for some freezer challenge coming up because it's gotta happen. So as you can see, a lot of fruit, fruit, more fruit, store-bought as well as our own homegrown, tomatoes galore. We have also been butchering our rabbits and chickens and that's been going in here. We've got lima beans. We had a fantastic deal on walnuts. Now they were close to expiration, but 750 grams for 10 bucks is a great deal here. We're actually debating. We got those two days ago. We're debating on going back to get some more because we had a taste test and they still were amazing. My one reserve loaf of bread, I probably should use this soon because it's been here in a while, but I like to keep that for when the kids are at school and I don't have something for lunches. But I'm not going to go through too much in here because I don't want to dig and start ruining the Jenga effect. The one thing that I will say though is we ate a turkey out of here. Yes, we did. And then I made some more turkey barley soup, which I will link that uh, recipe above here because it's a delicious one. Whether you do chicken or turkey really doesn't matter. But... We ate a turkey, obviously filled the space with other stuff, but that's okay. So we are on a mission. I've been watching that Superstore flyer waiting. At, right before Thanksgiving, they did have a spend 300, get a free turkey, but it wasn't the right time for us because we didn't need to stock anything really. So I'm watching because last year, right before Christmas, they had that deal again and we got a free turkey. So we still have one turkey buried in here. I'm gonna hang on to that, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully we can do a grocery haul and get another free turkey this year. But I'm not holding my breath because, you know, they can change things at any point in time. But there are a few things getting low on the store-bought pantry shelves that we need to stock. So hopefully that happens. I've kind of been putting it off and putting it off, but 
I will have to stock up before the pantry challenge for 2025. So let's hope we get some free turkeys. If you happen to notice an ad for free turkey, make sure you send me a note because sometimes I'm a little late on the ball, as you well know. I feel so far this year, especially with the Every Bit Counts challenge, we have put quite a bit away. Not enough to see us through the whole winter yet, but it is slowly getting there and there's a lot more that we need to get canned up and like I say, processed out of the freezer and that sort of stuff and all those peppers. But I'll give you a quick look here. The one thing that I definitely think we need to work on is the meat. We need to do some more canned meat because we're getting low on that. And also a few of the sauces, like I mentioned, butter, butter chicken, I think we're down to, give me a second, five jars, five jars. And I made 40 some. 40. I'd have to go back and check my records. I made like 42 last year. So definitely we need to stockpile that back up. I'm thinking at least 36 jars see us through. Although I have made that versatile curry as well sauce. So, eh, but anyways, we'll, we'll address that in the next video when we start dealing with all of the stuff that we brought in. But all in all, I feel things are going really, really well. We are already tucking into some of those items. It's like the taco meat. Oh my gosh, why did I not can taco meat before? We are going through this like crazy. It is so wonderful for the kids when they're making dinner for us because we're out doing other stuff. Get that off the shelf and they just go and do their own thing. It is wonderful. So you're definitely gonna see more of that in the future as well. But for now, I am going to go outside and do some wood because winter is coming as much as we don't want to admit it and we are way behind on putting wood into the shed to see us through. So wood is priority, dealing with the peppers is priority, and we'll see what else we get up to next week. Well, as I get started on putting this uh, wood into the shed, I had to just film a little clip here because it is an absolutely beautiful day for the 30th of October. And look, end of October and chicks. Not filming it very well. They're not cooperating little chicks and another thing we've been working away on in October is getting our gardens cleaned up as things have been expiring in there we've been pulling things out and we have big plans right now I'm standing in the loft of the barn one of my favorite spots to look out at the garden and I'm going to show you and tell you just what we've been up to so we have made the decision to change that whole garden down there into raised beds. Now they are not all finished yet. You can see some of them aren't leveled, but we're getting started because we want to get them filled up. And you can see these four beds right here. They still have our potatoes in them from this year. So we still got to harvest those. And as I pan over here, you'll see the sad state of all the stuff dying back in the raised bed garden. But we do have, if you look here, there's a little plastic covered bit there and that's got all of our lettuce and goody stuff in it to hopefully last us until December at least. So basically we have been working away, I tell you, and time has just flown by. But now as things start to settle in and we take stock, I guess you could say, of what we managed to achieve and what still needs to be done, we're going to take you guys along for the ride as we get the rest of 2024 finished off with a bang.